All right, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are continuing today with uh, Dead Space. Um, yesterday, I basically like kind of informed you that I had already kind of started the game, but then the file got overwritten and all that garbage. So yes, our very first episode was a little bit longer than the uh, first episode I recorded because I at least wanted to get a little bit of something new into the um, first episode. Um, so we're just going to continue off. Um, uh, you need to load in because I'm not 100% positive of where we left off. And okay, wow, that's a very fast load in. Damn, okay. Uh, that's cool. So we made it to, I believe, the medical facility area last time. Right? Pretty sure that's where we made it to. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We made it to the medical facility. We had talked to, um, not talked to, we had gotten some uh, voice logs from um, Dr. Brennan, who was, I believe, our love interest. Um, or our character's love interest. <laughs> um, I think we went into Dr. Kine's office, yes, where we found out that the uh, captain of this ship was apparently in on well that's what we're assuming anyway we're, that he was in on uh whatever has happened on this ship with these creatures and people being turned into these alien like looking things um and it, it looks it seems as though dr kine was uh trying to keep tabs on like there's like a little hidden room back here um he was trying to keep tabs on like what was happening, I think, and trying to document like what was going on. Um, and he didn't seem too keen on what the captain uh, was doing. Um, it also has something to do with the like religious group Unitology or something. I think that's what his name was or something like that. Um, so yeah, we're just trying to, I guess, figure out what the heck happened and what the hell's going on. So I got to remember where we were supposed to go next. I guess I can just push X and it'll tell me where I'm supposed to go. Uh, back up, I guess. So, oh yeah, I got to find a hydrazine tank to try to get into the actual medical facility area or something like that. This is like a part of the medical facility, but there's a lot of places to explore down here. Um, so I may do some exploration down here first before I make my way back up to, uh, the actual main storyline. So, oh, let's go. I also need to take a look at the map because I need to figure out where I should go. Mm, okay. The map doesn't really help me a whole lot. So changing room is where we just were. Let's go this way. Also, the sound. Oh, I need to turn the volume up. Sorry, everybody. The volume is very low right now for you. Hopefully, this will be better. I want to get it too loud for myself, but. Alright. Ooh, a voice log. Okay. Surgical log. Dr. Charles Mercer. Copy to my secure terminal. I convinced Jurgens to show me the video feed from the colony. It's. Remarkable to finally see what I've sought all my life. The miners, this transformation, the divide death self. Kine is erring on the side of caution. His faith has been shaken by these necromorphs, as he calls them. How strange, when my own faith has been so richly rewarded. With or without Kine, I must study one of these creatures. Or the next best thing. Brennan's patient, for example. Huh. Interesting. Wait, so Dr. Mercer. Wait, was he the captain of the ship? If Is my memory, like, failing me right now? Maybe I should look at that really quick. Uh, map, missions, database. Here we go. That's what I just listened to? Surgical log. Yeah. Dr. Charles Mercer. Copy to my secure terminal. Hi. All right. Um, 
Vid logs from the colony are poor quality, but I've seen enough to confirm the discovery to ban. The artifact appears to be a genuine marker, the first to be found since Unitology's founding. We must get it on board at the first opportunity so I can begin a proper study. So the marker, I think this the marker is something to do with like DNA or something like that. And people being turned into these creatures. Um... Now it's backfired. Um, not in my script. Yeah, Dr. Brennan. And this is the patient who I think has been turned or is like maybe slowly turning into one of these creatures. Yeah. Uh, Nicole's log? Wait, do we have... Oh, wait. I can... Oh, chapters. Okay, wait. I'm on chapter two. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, I missed a log somewhere. Chapter one. Um, let's see. Background request. Sponsored article. Sent help. Repair the tram system. New game plus inventory. Okay, this is all stuff that I have, uh, I guess, yet to uncover. Pulse rifle. Okay, well, I don't want to spoil myself, so let's not look through any of that. Additional loot. Yeah, okay, I figured that out. Melee. Okay. Uh, crates. Yep. Additional loot. Oh, that's what I just read. Idiot. Uh, stasis module. Yeah, okay, so I need to use that on the faster moving enemies. Tracking mission. Oh, wait, tracking missions. What? Oh, okay. Schematics. Oh, right. I think I just picked up a schematic last, uh, ep in the first episode there. Uh, tram stations. Wait, what are tram stations? Uh, okay, yeah, so it's just like a fast travel thing. Okay. That's what I thought it was at first. Weapon wheel, pulse rifle, zero gravity thrusters. Um, let's see. Plasma cutter, I think, is just, yep. Standard issue, mining tool, fire switch, not specific materials. Uh, aim, fire, rotate projectiles, reload. Okay. Locator? What? Oh, okay. Okay, save stations, database. Okay. Um, let's see. Doesn't seem to be anything else in here. I need to turn up my settings a little bit. Mouse sensitivity. I do want to put this up just a tiny bit. I don't know. We'll do gonna we'll, we'll test it out here. Oh, it only goes up by fives. Man, don't mess with me like that. There we go. I guess this is probably just for my controller, but. Alright, is this a little bit better? Okay, yeah, that's a little bit better. I don't have to move my mouse quite as far to uh, turn my camera. Uh, okay, Dr. Brennan, we've already been in. Okay, so there's nothing else down here, I don't think. I think I do have to go back up. What is in there? Did I not see this last time? Oh, this dude got like fried. Damn. Uh, yeah, I didn't do too much exploring up here, I don't believe. Oh wait, I can't get in here. 
Oh, I need power. Can I reroute power? Uh, is there power that I can reroute? Can't do anything with that. Can I, like, break glass? No, because I can't even jump anyway, so I can't actually get in there. I need to get in through the door. At least that's what I'm guessing. Can we, like... Create... Oh, never mind. Okay. Doesn't work like that, then. Got it. Um... Okay. Where else is there to go in this area? Anywhere? No. Alrighty. I guess we'll go back out. And we gotta go back up. Okay, so I was in... What does this say? Research wing. Oh, right, okay, this is the area that leads to a bunch of different areas. I need to get in here is where I need to get. That's where it wants me. That's, that's where the game wants me to go. Uh, okay, let's go to imaging diagnostics. Actually, that's where it wants me to go. Let's go. Oh, wait, there's a store. Let me see about the schematics. Ah, stasis pack. What does that do? Oh, it restores stasis energy. Uh -huh. Oh, I do have 10,000 though. I kind of want to buy this. You know what? Just do it. Just stop, stop thinking about it. Let's just do it. Um... Storage. Suit level one. Oh yeah, I'm wearing the legacy rig because this thing looks sick. Um. Okay, what the hell did I just do? Purchase sound store. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, tab. Uh. Oh, wait. Where's the thing? Oh, I have to go back to the other. No. Um, wait, I think this is where I came from, right? Oh, I guess it's the only place I have left to go then. Okay. I guess I just have to do this is the only place left to go. Minging diagnostics. Here we go. Okay. Um. The fuck? I'm just gonna make sure you're dead. So that. Yeah. I don't wanna. Have to fight you. Randomly coming up behind my back, potentially. Sorry. Probably was kinda rude, but. So, imaging. Counseling services. Well, we're gonna fucking need counseling after this, because goddamn, this is traumatic. Um, let's see. Scan rig to unlock workstation. Yeah, I still don't know how to scan shit. I don't know if that's just something I have to do later on. Probably is. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, they knew what the fuck was going on here, and they were as experimenting on shit. OK, 
Okay, that can't be moved, I guess. Can I pick up this? Oh, I can. Damn. Okay. So we can actually pick up a decent amount of shit in this game with our, like, telekinesis bullshit. Um... I need to reroute power from somewhere. Where do I reroute power from? Huh? Alright, I'm gonna have to turn off the lights again. God damn, that was a little loud. Okay. Um Lights loud for me anyway. That's power. It looks like a battery of some sort or an engine. Ah, okay, yeah. Ah. Thought it was gonna kinda work like the game control where you just chucked it at it. <laughs> it would stick. Oops. Uh okay. So now I'm gonna have to reroute power. So elevate ooh. Elevators or doors? Let's see. Actually, before I do any of this, I can go into diagnostics. So let's go in here first. Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. What the fuck just happened to him? Dude, you were fine like three seconds ago. God damn. Uh, okay, sorry. Just gonna like, just do that. So that, uh, yeah, sorry. I know, sorry everybody. It's, that's, it's kind of brutal, but. Security level two? I haven't even found security clearance level one yet, damn it. Ooh, more nodes, um, which I think I can do right here. Hell yeah. Hmm. Question is, do I want to do suit? Well, I haven't gone outside yet, so I don't really need more air. Stasis duration we can increase only by only once. Um, stasis energy. I feel like I want to just. Increase capacity and then increase damage again. Or reload speed. Uh, okay, probably reload speed and damage would be better. Uh, pulse rifle. I don't really care for the pulse rifle right now. I feel like it doesn't do as much damage. Wait. What? Yeah, it does 110. Alright. Let's just do this. Because I really like this plasma cutter. It's, it's, it's quite sick. And it does way more damage. I also just have a decent amount of ammo for it right now, so... Oh. Ooh, that reloads fast now. Uh, can't do anything with any of this, right? Okay, so is that, that that's all I can do in here. Ooh, I can throw that shit at people. Okay. 
Do we need to remember to use the slowing down stasis bullshit sometimes on faster enemies? Okay. This must be the elevator that's going to take me down. Okay, let's do doors first. Uh, this is locked. Um, for now, I guess. Consultation room. It came from security station, so... I'm assuming this is the hydrazine tank, maybe? I don't know. Can't tell. Yep, pick up the plasma shit. Audio log. Retrieved. I hear the tests on patient Harris were inconclusive. Given the reports from the colony, he's lucky to have his faculties at all. Well, a divine experience would leave an impression on anyone's mind. Perhaps. But I saw nothing divine in all that... blood. <laughs> the suicides. This is a revelation, Terence. We just need more insight to translate it. You think this insight can be found in Mr. Harris's psyche? I'm positive. And with Captain Matthias barring any visits to Aegis 7, this fellow may be our best chance. Harris is Dr. Brennan's patient. And your methods... Look, Mercer, things are complicated enough already. I can't sign off on this. You'll do what's best, of course, but how long can we afford to wait? Hmm. Yeah, so Kine, Dr. Kind and Mercer were definitely on, like, different pages here of what they wanted to do. Which, I mean, in reality, I'm on Dr. Uh, Kind's side because this shit's just, like, messed up. Uh, okay. Elevator to the elevator we go, I guess. Oh, we're going up instead of down. I thought we were going down, but we're going up. Okay, gotta get better about aiming that shit because that was horrible. Uh, well, shit. Where the hell am I supposed to go from here? Um, hello, enemy. I see you over there. Can I shoot you? I can. I don't think it does me any good. sense <laughs> uh okay ooh to zero g therapy Is that what that says? Yeah, zero G therapy. I wonder what the hell that could be. Uh, infidels? Is that what I'm assuming that says? Uh, 
Uh, observation room. Okay, let's go to the observation room, I guess. Since it's closer. My god, it's dark in here. Oh! Shit. He's coming in through one of these vents for sure. I'm going to get attacked. Connection lost. These are closed, right? I need level 2 clearance? Yeah, of course I do. Oh, here we go. Text log. Medical log. Dr. Warwick. Chief Psychologist Officer, as my guess is that's what that's supposed to be. Sensory deprivation treatments. Oh, God. The diagnoses are stacking up fast as I can file them. Sleep paralysis, hallucinations, nightmares, paranoia. I'm getting patients from all over the ship. No underlying cause is showing up in environmental analysis, foodstuffs, or radiation levels. I admit I'm at a loss. Mercer says he and Kine are working on a hypothesis, so in the meantime, I'm treating the symptoms. I'm seeing some improvement with sensory deprivation treatments in our zero-G therapy pods, but the sheer number of patients we are managing bothers me. Those systems are old and they need an overhaul. With so many pods active, I worry what might happen if there's a serious power surge down there. But nothing uh, else seems to help. Uh, I suppose the odds are low enough. I'd rather take a small calculated risk than have dozens of miners and engineers impaired around heavy machinery. Very true. Uh, okay. So, hmm. I'm wondering if... This was planned? No, this was definitely like something that was, they've they figured, or they are figuring it out. Uh, and Dr. Mercer is completely okay with doing tests and having people like turn into these fucking crazy creatures. Because they he thinks it's some sort of divine message from God or whoever they seem to believe in. Okay, let's save the game really quick. I do enjoy how often there are save points. Just in case. Um, hmm. I wonder if it's locked because there is... How would we get into here? Mm, I don't know. Okay, hold on. Let's just go to zero G therapy pods. Oh shit. Okay, I don't have much time. Okay, I have 70 seconds. I have 70 seconds to explore. That is not a lot of time. Entering vacuum. Entering zero gravity. Oh shit. Um, just get me out of that. Ah, okay. I don't know if there's anything I missed in there, but... Okay, we can go back out really quick, just to take a look. Freaking cool that we can see space, kind of. I mean... It's very interesting. Okay, nothing to do here. Forty seconds. Okay, so I will need to definitely increase the amount of time in my suit for outside exploration. Bro, we got 20 seconds. Stop your gasping. Use boot and suit thrusters to navigate in zero jab gravity. Ooh.
What the shit? God, okay. Uh, look. How do I go up? Can I go up? Oh, I have to just look. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Oh, we can just pick stuff up and just throw it. Okay. This is very interesting. Okay, where the hell did I come from? Okay, I came from over here, right? Ugh. Oh no, that's where I need to go. Oh shit, this is so disorienting. Oh my god. Okay, that's that's where I came from. That's where I came from. Okay. people in here. Damn. Oh. Interesting. Wait, so are all these people, like, being treated for... I think they are. Damn, there are so many people in here. Jesus. All right, sorry, this is probably, this is like just so disorienting. I'm like just trying to get my friggin' bearings here. What's in here? Anything? If I go in here, am I going to die? No. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that there was nothing I could do in there. Um. That's where I need to get the hydrazine from. Is this the only place that I can go to from here? Jesus. Okay, I need to look at this map. Um. That's where I came from. Oh no, that's imaging. Okay, so imaging is back this way. That's where I came from. Up there? I can't get to yet. This is probably where I need to go, though. Okay. Up oh, this way up. Yeah, geez, thanks for the uh, help there. God, it's very disorienting, though. Exiting 
Assuming this is going to be... Uh, another... Something I can use. Oh no, this is the Hydrazine canister. Okay. Still holding this position. What's happening there? Did you find Nicole? Her office is empty. No sign of her. But I found some Hydrazine that should work on the barricade. I just need to find a shock pad. Okay. Work fast, Isaac. I ain't working fast, I'm sorry. I am really taking my time. Now I need to find a shock pad, huh? Okay, well it's not in here, that's for sure. Entering zero gravity. It's still alive? I was thinking maybe I could grab that and pull it off. Guess it's not quite that strong. Okay, this way up. Let me look around. That's where I came from. So I must have to go back this way then. I don't think there's anywhere else for me to go. In here, right? Let me just stand on the ground for a second and take a quick look around. Yeah, I can only go across. Going down does me no good. Okay, so I just need to go back. I don't think you should. Entering vacuum. Oh, I'm supposed to go up. Okay, hold on. Let me let me go back and refill my oxygen. I didn't see the Z takeoff button before. I think that was just hidden Entering until he went into the other place. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay, you can recharge oxygen. That's kind of useful. Coolant pipeline. Okay, I assume there's nothing else for me to explore here right now. Oh, that's interesting that it just, like, floats when you reload. Uh... Oh, yeah, because we're in zero-G right now. Oh, interesting. God. Took one step out of the captain's nets and Chen... That thing... He almost got me. You okay? I trapped him in a damaged escape pod. He's snarling like, this is fucked up. Hurry, Isaac. Oh, this is to land. Okay. Exiting zero gravity. Ooh. 
Ooh, schematics. Pulse rounds. Ooh, different pulse rounds. Interesting. Although, I don't know, like, what does that do? It's like a bomb. Tracker? I don't know. It's really strange. Maybe I should read about it really quick. Just see what the hell it does. Thank you for the jump scare. Appreciate it. Oh, fuck. Don't need to waste ammo on that. Perfect. Okay, which way goes to what? All right, we're just gonna run through here. Oh, wait, this is where I came from, okay. Interesting. came down into research wing. Hmm. Oh yeah, I never did figure out how to get into there. So I need to go down. Oh, wait, did I not go in? Oh, I never went into the biological prosthetic area. Uh, oh, I have no notes. What am I doing? I can go to the store, right? No, there is no store here. The store is back upstairs. Shit. Okay. Yeah, I never did go in here. Shit. Dude, what the fuck? Okay then. Well. Sorry, dude. There was no saving you, unfortunately. Man, they're like growing these things. Man, Mercer, what the hell are you doing? This is some effed up shit you got going on here. Okay, text log. To Caswell from Lille. 
clerical error? Zoe, specimen 426 is ready for harvest. I was about to notify Alvarez to prep for medical leave, but when I checked the database, I saw Ensign Sable has been moved ahead of her. Is that right? Alvarez has been on the waiting list for three months now. I thought arm transplants took priority over a cornea. Damn, they're like reconstructing people? Uh, from to Leal from Caswell. Wait, who was this? Was back? Oh, wait a minute. To Caswell from Leal, and this is from Leal to Caswell. Uh, here's your clerical error. One of them bought CE sto C stock at the last purchase. One didn't. Guess which one was suddenly bumped up to vital personnel. Mm-hmm. It's not worth the headache to push back on it. Trust me. And before you think about filing an ethics complaint, just remember the wise words of Hi uh, Hippocrates: "Shit rolls downhill." Oh, politics and the power of money. It's very unfortunate. Explodes on contact. Okay. Ow. Shit. Okay. Uh, I need to get better at friggin' combat, because goddamn am I bad. Uh, although, they don't seem to hurt too much. Man, this is like... effed up. Sanitary showers. Uh, uh, gonna need one. Of, we're gonna need that after uh, a very short time here. Okay, I guess it's into sanitary showers we go. Please conserve water. Well, emergency shower. Shower me. I'm covered in guts. Limb stimulation therapy. Oh, okay. This is how you get into here. Interesting. Dude, this guy got fried. Ooh, more nodes. Okay. Fantastic. And a shock Daniel pad. Daniel's answering her rig link. What's your status? I found a shock pad I can use on the barricade. I'm heading back there now. Watch the voltage on that pad. I'm not losing anyone else. <laughs> All right, back we go. Land the explosives. Got it. Wait, now my question is this. If I just hit the ground... Ah, oh, it does work like that. Okay, it's like an area of effect. Oh, I'm... Oh, fuck! So loud. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I need to refill this. I was out. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Plant the explosives here. Wait, you know what? Let me save the game first. Alrighty. Ooh, wait, there's a store. I want to see what I unlocked. Schematic submitted, now available for purchase. Okay, shop. Oh, wait. So we can buy like an unlimited amount of nodes then? Interesting. Okay. What else did we unlock? Pulse rounds. Ammunition for the pulse rounds. These ballistic rounds are standard issue. Oh, wait. Oh, it just unlocks me to purchase the basic rounds. Okay, okay, okay. Um, stasis pack. You know what? Let me buy that. Now, I don't know if that's just like a one-time use thing. It might be. Um, inventory capacity. I'm just, I got so much shit. Oh, that costs 25 rounds to fire the explosive. That is really sick, though. Okay. Oh, I can sell this. Um, yeah, I like just having all this ammo on me. Um, I think probably the best bet is every time we unlock a new suit upgrade we should just purchase it uh for the extra inventory space so we can keep carrying around more and more ammo so we don't have to go back and do other shit like that um all right explosives time Uh, okay. Time to stand back and throw something at it. Is that my guess? Take cover to detonate. Um, okay, am I gonna stand in here then? Ah, okay. I have a feeling... Going in here, this is going to be where I'm fighting my first major, like, boss or something. If there's even, like, bosses in this game. Like, boss-type enemies. Ishimura Clinic. We are unable to accept new patients. Yeah, it's probably because you got so goddamn many in here. Find Captain Matthias's body. Get his rig codes, and the computer's all ours. Uh, emergency room. God, it's just it's so gross. Um, weapon upgrade. Plasma cutter. Ooh. Okay, I kind of want to go and do that, but it, I don't think there's actually... I don't think that there's a place for me to upgrade nearby, so we'll wait. But I do want to upgrade that, because that is... Is that like a hologram? To the morgue. Is that where I need to go as the morgue? Okay. Okay, so definitely gonna be fighting some enemies in here. That's for sure. Uh, okay, text log. Medical log. Dr. Warwick. He's the psychologist. Report of psychiatric observation for patient Harris. Harris is asleep after another dose of sedative. He seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after more than 50 hours of being awake. God damn. 50 hours? He's been awake for more than that? 
Um, regardless of circumstances, not Harris. His bizarre explanation of the events on the colony points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planet side. Okay, oh, wait, so maybe we're going to actually travel to, the, to a planet down below us that they've been, like, harvesting shit from? Oh, maybe that's where the marker came from. Okay, okay. Um... His uh, bizarre explanation of the events in the colony points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere on uh, planet side. His guilt is not in doubt. Two security officers were present when he took Dr. Ciarello hostage and murdered Nurse Evans. And Harris doesn't deny his actions, but he shows no remorse. In fact, he insists there was no crime. Specifically, that Evans wasn't a nurse when he killed her. Interesting. This is classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is affable and friendly, able to empathize and offer original opinions. When questioned about Evan's murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and uncommunicative. He claims the explanation is stuck in his mind and that talking about it mixes up its message. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods, again similar to those experienced by other colonists. During his long waking periods, uh, Harris exhibits writing behavior on any available surface. Interesting. So he just starts writing on random surfaces, claiming the dreams need to speak and that he's attempting to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. Given the complexities of his case, I plan to reach out to my colleagues for more insight. Damn. So this, like, marker thing is like change it like takes over their mind kind of like in a way maybe it's like a slow change is my guess uh the er hallway okay so this is yeah we're gonna oh wait what to remove the battery ensure no power is being used on the circuit breaker Oh, so I can remove this. Okay, this is going to open something else. Okay, what's this? Is this hair? All personnel. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. Look at his wounds. We can't handle so many trauma cases, and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Oh, it's Shit. Maybe I have some PHP left. Hmm. Follow Nicole's hologram. Maybe the ER room is where I'm supposed to go next, then? Oh, wait, she ran that way? Excuse me? Oh, no, I'm supposed to be finding the captain's body. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Journal? Uh... Here we go. I want to track hers first. Oh, it's just somewhere in here. I would assume... Oh, okay. Hmm. Where is her hologram? Interesting. Weird. Huh. All 
All right, where's the enemies? Emergency shower. Pulse rounds. Okay, I know you're gonna come in through there. That's for certain. What the frig is this? Huh. Like a power source, maybe? No. Huh. I feel like it's gotta be something. We will uh, leave it for now. All right, let's go into the showers, I guess. Oh. What? Oh. Wait, what? Hello? The fuck? Huh. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh. Loop and transmit to all personnel. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. Look at his wounds. We can't handle so many trauma cases, and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Oh, Maybe I have some PHP left. Huh, okay, so she went in toward this way. Oh shit! Did that drop out of him? Oh, okay, I guess it did. <sighs> Oops. Okay, so I think I have to I have to do this in like a different order then. And I was thinking I could. Okay, let's go to the hallway then. Oh, God.
Come here. Damn it. Oh, fuck. Man, these tight quarters is really obnoxious when it tries to, it comes to fighting these guys. Huh. Wait. I didn't get my extra item out of it. Damn it. Alright. Uh... Storage, okay, it's level two security clearance. What is this? Security request retrieved. He left me. I woke in the dark with them scratching in the walls. Scratching like rats. And you will lock me in with them. Fuck it. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. Ooh. What are we cutting out? That's the real question here. No, there's gonna be more enemies around here somewhere. That's gonna be for certain. somehow, but I just don't have enough data. Or sir, maybe I was wrong. We need answers by any means possible. That patient, Brent Harris, might be our last hope. Ah. Okay, so maybe Mercer wasn't bad. Maybe I'm reading too much into stuff. Oh, uh, why is there an oxygen recharge thing here? It makes me think that we're going to, uh... Be... This is gonna, like, blow up or some shit. We're gonna be stuck. In, uh... Okay, intensive care. Whoa, somebody's still alive. God damn. Uh, oh, is this a patient? Oh, this is the girl that we just heard. <gasps> oh, fuck. Jesus. Ooh. I uh, don't like watching that kind of shit, but... Mostly just because it gives me the, like, ugh, feeling. Okay. Um, brutal. Fuck. Definitely not a way I'd want to fucking go, I can tell you that much. Granted. There's a lot of ways I wouldn't want to go, but... That definitely being one of them. Uh, Dr. Mercer's office is there. Let's save the game. Um, I guess we're gonna go to the morgue, because we can't go in there yet. Okay! Oh, 
bitch. Oh, no pow. Oh, I need to go grab the uh, thing, huh? Is that, is that what I need to do? I need to go back and grab the power core? Can I even do that? Or is it going to seal off the door? I feel like this is too far back is the problem. Oh, but this opens the door. Um. What? Also, I never figured out what to do with the friggin' showers in here either. Wait, what? Okay, hold on a second. Am I missing something? I must have to go this way. But there's gotta be a... Is there a power core in here somewhere? Huh. Huh. Oh, Jesus, right in front of my damn face. I was like, the fern in hell? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, this is an elevator, okay. I think it says it's time. Um, damn. Stasis. Oh. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Can I assign the stasis packs to. Oh no, I just, I just have to use it. Okay. Interesting. That is, oh, that also explodes and gives me, like, stasis as well. So I can use that in case something comes up. Text log. All right. Medical log. Dr. Domus. He is the medical examiner. Report of death on ship. Captain Matthias. Matthias? I think it's Matthias. Um, it is my unfortunate duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin Matthias dead. Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted and will be left for investigators to determine once we return to port. I will constrain my comments to the condition of the body. Subject was in generally good health for his age, though a cursory blood test indicates his leukocyte count was very low with eosinophils in particular, uh, with eosinophils in particular almost non-existent. His pre-flight physical exam showed no such problems, indicating rapid onset, but it does not appear to have had any effect on his death. 
Multiple contusions uh, on the arms and hands indicate a brief struggle pre-mortem. Light contusions around the rib, rib cage indicate he was restrained, likely for a brief period. Cause of death was a single prolonged trauma to the ocular body, which continued on through the cavity wall and into the frontal lobe, causing rapid neurotrauma, seizure, and death. Damn, so something went through his eye? Ooh. And he was restrained. So I wonder if some, if Dr. Kine or somebody was trying to um, perform some sort of operation on him. Or if one of the other... Uh, the angle of penetration into the ocular cavity indicates the injury was not self-inflicted. Examination required the removal of the object to confirm cause of death, but it has been preserved for the investigative team to study. I therefore have no alternative but to record a preliminary verdict of unnatural death. Whether deliberate or accidental is beyond my jurisdiction. Hmm. Uh, um, okay. So, where is his body? Must be... In the emergency room or in the autopsy room? Oh, must be in the autopsy room. Alright, what's down here? Credits? Alright. Hmm, yeah. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Wow, that is fast. Ow, fuck. Oh, fuck, I died. Okay, my head just got chopped off. Shit. Okay, well, this fight's fucking a uh, bitch. Um, okay. Shit. We'll re-pick that up. I already read it, so we'll just do that. Okay, actually, it's good to know um, that if I do die, I do have to re-pick up everything that I've already got. So, good to know. Um, okay. Can we skip this little scene? No. Whoops. Nope. Okay, I can't skip over it. Damn. Okay, so that thing, like, is what transforms people. It, like, injects them with something, and then it, they, like, instantly transform. Like, that is fast. God damn. Okay, so I need to like get out of this little room 
for certain. Ah, damn. Hmm. I don't have any other healing shit. the captain's body into a, another one of those things. The same must have happened to Chen. God. Maybe the command computer has something. Uh, where's Daniels when you need her? Head back to the security checkpoint. It's safer there. At least I can upgrade your clearance. Uh, okay, so I need to go back. Security station, okay. Now... Ooh, I do have security clearance level one now. Is this like a shortcut? Maybe? Man, if I get hit like once though, I'm like so boned. Oh shit. Isaac. I'm here. What the hell's happening? The computer says the Ishimura's engines are offline. We're on a decaying orbit toward Aegis 7. Oh god. I have to get to engineering. There's no time. That tram station's offline. Unless... Here. Head back to the flight deck. I'll guide you from there. If this damage report's right, there's a shortcut to engineering. Okay. Um... I still haven't figured out everything here, though, is the th thing. Confirmed. Confirmed. Okay, let's heal up. Um... I still need to figure out what to do with this. Oh wait, can I move this? Got it, okay. It's 
Stop being dense, Garrett. Think about the tools you got. All right, uh, audio log. Medical log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. So much for being paranoid. I repurposed this room to run counseling sessions without unitologists interfering. Now it's the only place I feel safe. Mm. I recovered a limb after yesterday's attack. Genetically, it's human tissue with bizarre mutations. But it's just a sample. It's not enough to figure out a cure. I need... Wait, where's that report from engineering? Here. The engineer has pulled something out of machinery. Limbs missing, torso intact. Okay. Time for a real autopsy. Hmm. Find autopsy location in engineering. Okay, so that's where I need to go is engineering. Okay. Um. I got... Oh, wait. Was there any security clearance... Stuff back in that other area. I don't remember. Also, I can't get into the ER hallway, right? No. It's not that I remember. More nodes. Okay, I can upgrade some more stuff. I do you want to go to the store really quick? We, ooh, I can buy another node. Two hundred eleven pulse rounds. I have eighty four plasma energy, so I am going down on plasma energy. But I feel like I should just buy this. Hmm. We'll wait, I guess. We are going to save the game again. I know I'm a little paranoid, but. I like to just save whenever I can, kind of. In case. Um, right. Let's make it back to security, I guess. Uh, imaging and diagnostic wing. Research wing. Medical tram station. Is that where I want to go? Yeah. Wait. Let me go to imaging really quick and just double check and make sure there's not clearance level one shit that I can unlock down in here. Did I not come through here before? Interesting. I feel like I did though. Entering zero gravity. Mm. Exiting zero gravity. All right, let's go the other way then. Pretty sure this was just, um... Wrong button.
Fucking hell, there are a lot of enemies here. Oh shit! I have no healing whatsoever. Holy shit. Okay. Mission Diagnostics. That brings me upstairs. Ah, there was stuff in here. Oh. Level two, security clearance required. Need level two, okay. I do, okay. New special ability is now accessible. Plasma cutter. Oh, okay. Greatly increases ammunition capacity. Ooh, that could be very useful. Uh, more capacity, more damage. You can only upgrade damage four times. At least that's what I have access to right now. So it looks like we have two more upgrade paths. I also have four nodes. Could do two more capacity with more ammunition capacity to carry, be able to carry more. Um, cartridges is my guess. Or no, maybe it just increases the amount that I can fire at one time. Hmm, don't know. Um, suit though. Uh, stasis zone size. Ooh, that might be useful. Okay, let's definitely go with some more air. So now we have 80 seconds. More HP might be useful. Uh, stasis energy. Probably be useful to have more of that too. My god, okay. Um... Stasis duration and size. You know what? Let's just do this. Because I feel like that's probably going to be useful. I should probably upgrade this too, realistically. I really don't know which one's better. I really feel like the plasma cutter is better. It just doesn't, uh... Let's do more capacity, I guess. Probably should have gone straight for this, because it probably would have been very useful, but... That's okay. I need to kind of balance out my spending of points, I think, a little bit. I think we should just try to make our way back to where we're supposed to go for the time being. I have a feeling I'm going to die if I don't. These enemies just keep seeming to respawn. I'm gonna die. Yep. Fuck. Now I gotta redo all that shit again. Fuck. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just call it here for today. For this episode. Um, And we will pick back up 
I guess, right from here in the next one. So hope you enjoyed this. Um, we're definitely getting a lot more lore um, and like kind of what's going on around here. Um, so basically, people are being transformed into these friggin' creatures and they're trying to figure out how to stop it. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.